Okay, so Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose fight this Sunday at Hell in a Cell, in Hell in a Cell, and it's part of the one of the two main events at Hell in a Cell. Now, here's my problem with this. Well, not my, my problem with the match, because we know the match is going to be great. But it's just the point leading up to the match that really doesn't make sense, booking-wise. Okay, so ever since Money in the Bank... Let's not get started on that finish, because I, I I enjoyed the match, but I didn't like the finish. But ever since Money in the Bank, uh, Dean Ambrose has been obsessively chasing Seth Rollins. Seth Rollins, ever since Money in the Bank, doesn't want anything to do with Dean Ambrose. He's been trying to get away from Dean Ambrose ever since Money in the Bank, hiding behind the authority. They have they have thrown staff at him. They have thrown security guards at him. They have tied him up. They have carried out him out of building. They have locked him in a closet. They have curb stomped him through cinder brick blocks. They have done everything to keep these people as far away from one another as humanly possible. Because Seth Rollins apparently doesn't want anything with the unstable Dean Ambrose. So we look, we 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 go to this last Monday on Raw. And when Dean Ambrose is at his craziest with the mannequin and saying he's going to screw him harder and says he's going to saw his testicles off, Seth Rollins comes out, goes in the ring, and they have a promo. Now, I have a problem with this. He's been booked as afraid of Dean Ambrose since after Money in the Bank. So when he found out that he was going to be in a Hell in a Cell match with either the winner of Dean Ambrose or the winner of John Cena, which the winner turned out to be Dean Ambrose, he never complained. By Hunter, by Triple H, the guy that's ahead of the authority, the guy that's supposed to be protecting him, never complained. Never said why, never made a promo to cry about it, never complained to Hunter or anything. He was cool with it. That's a problem. Because he's he's not selling the Hell in the Cell match. He's treating it as it's a normal match. If this was a normal match, I'd be, confi I'd be fine with WWE completely ignoring the fact that for the past three months, this man did not want any bits or pieces of Dean Ambrose if this was a normal match. Because in a normal match, he could, just, he could just get away, or Kane or someone in authority could just interrupt again. Like, the, But this is hell in a cell. It's going to be locked in a cage, and it's no rules, too. So, he's, he, and he's not afraid of that? Mind you, Dean had all those weapons in that bag while Seth was walking to the ring. And he's not afraid. Of Dean Ambrose anymore. That's total bullshit. I don't see why. Why would you all of a sudden? My biggest problem may be because there was no transition to him being manning up and wanting to face Dean Ambrose. What him beating all these people on main event and on SmackDown gave him balls. Like, but there, but none of those people he's beat is un mentally unstable, even nowhere close to that craziness of Dean Ambrose. I don't understand. I don't understand. They just, he went from running away from him, or no, sending two stooges in the ring to get his briefcase back, to gingerly walking down the ramp and stepping in the ring by himself while Dean has all these crazy weapons and his power just to cut a promo with him. And he's not selling the cage. Both even though both this is his, both Dean Ambrose's and Seth Rollins' first Hell in a Cell, which by chance uh, Dean Ambrose has done crazier things in CCW, so this type of match is kind of safe for him compared to what he did in CCW, CZW, excuse me. But only with Dean's character, I could can understand Dean not selling the Hell in a Cell match because it fits. It fits his character. He's crazy. But for Seth not to sell it, 
and to treat it like a normal match, he's lowering the hypeness that's a, uh, that's a it's a hell in a cell match. Shawn Michaels, when he had to go against Undertaker, was scared. He sold the, the part that was Hell in a Cell. Edge sold it well that he was scared of the Hell in a Cell. They had their first Hell in a Cell matches. Majority of first people's Hell in a Cell matches, they usually sell that they're afraid of this steel structure because it's not a normal match. I mean, Mick Foley's been in four Hell in a Cells. He's never won a Hell in a Cell, but look at all of it. He went through hell. Look at the, the, the six that Triple H has been through. Or, excuse me, has won. He's been through hell. Same thing with Orton. Been through hell. Taker's been in 12 Hell in a Cells. Caused hell in all those Hell in a Cells. So... No, Hunter's been in nine. He's won six. So yeah, but still, it's it's not a normal match. Seth Rollins is gonna get hurt. Dean Ambrose is gonna get hurt. But Seth is just treating it as a normal match, and he's gonna think he's just gonna walk in and just beat Dean Ambrose. But weeks prior to that, he's been afraid and doesn't want anything to do with him. And then um, the winner of this match gets nothing. While John Cena and Randy Orton match 53, the winner gets a shot at Brock Lesnar. And John Cena lost that match. John Cena lost the match to get put in that one. So even when John Cena loses, he wins. And that's going to wrap it up for this week's Drama Script for Saturday. Remember, there will be a Drama Script for Saturday every Saturday. And feel free to leave your thoughts and opinions below me. And until next Saturday, guys. Later and peace.